today we toured the pump house for the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District's aeration station in Blue Island. And what it is, it's a facility that takes canal water and they pump it up, I think as much as 17 feet above canal level, and then it cascades down over the five foot waterfalls. And the whole purpose is to oxygenate the water and make it healthier for fish. So we had about three dozen people and the day started with a walk over the new Chatham Street Bridge. We had Diane Banta, who's with National Park Service, who helps build trails in communities. And we also had uh, Steve Buchtel, who's the head of Friends of the Calsag Trail. So they gave a little overview. Now that this bridge is open, it will help connect the north and south shores of the canal when the, when the bike trail comes through. As a business owner, that means the employees that you're struggling to hire, that you're competing with other businesses in other towns, to bring them here, they're gonna to want to come here a little bit more because your community has the trail connection. And then Dave Tang, he is an MWRD engineer. He oversees five SEPA stations as well as other things. He met our group and walked us through. The important part of it is this giant auger which is turned by a 400 horsepower electric motor and it literally lifts the water up and then it cascades down the waterfall. These rivers around here are very slow moving. There is not a lot of current because there's not a lot of elevation change and you really, a river depends on fast moving current to be healthy and oxygenated. So basically this facility lifts the water up 17 feet, it cascades down over the five foot waterfalls, and just the tumbling adds oxygen. I'm, I'm really tickled because we had like a couple ladies from Oak Lawn, we had a fellow from Payless Hills, a friend from Pullman, a lot of people from Blue Island. So this, this drew people that we've never met before. And our hope is that some of the people in Payless and all, they'll see this as a new place to ride and it may bring people in for a sandwich or a beer or shopping or whatever. Because that trail was a hit as soon as it opened. And I think when our portion of it becomes built, I think we're gonna see a lot more ridership in this area.